for close to 30 years. When I was doing my A-level studies at St. Mary's Yala here, where I was also a head student, I came to know the late Justice Masime. And by extension in the process, I also came to know the Magoa family. Mze John Obari, who was speaking here, was a very close friend to a distinguished son of game by the name S.M. Owino Gare who was then one of the most accomplished lawyers in this country. I did get to know Owino Gare through Mr. Obare, and when I went to Nairobi for the first time in the year 1990, the person I was living with is the late Owino Gare. So I can say or state without fear of contradiction that I owe the people of game and by extension the Magoa family a great debt of gratitude. Indeed, when reports circulated in the social media that Professor Magoa had passed on and I was alerted by one of my staff in the office, I thought it was in reference to the brother. But those reports persisted, so I did call Dr. Aluoch, who actually confirmed to me that Professor Magoa had passed on about five minutes before then. Subsequently, I sent a text message to President William Ruto, who was out of the country, to alert him of Professor Magoa's death. And indeed, he called me back within a couple of minutes to confirm whether it was true that Professor Magoa had actually passed on because it was barely two weeks when we were with him at State House. So I confirmed the same to him and he told me or he instructed me to reach out to the Deputy President on his behalf to get further guidance as to how the current government and by extension cabinet could respond to that sad state of affairs. I was instructed by the Deputy President then to reach out to the family so that we could collectively become part and parcel of the preparations of that sad journey. So when I went to the family residence in Lovington, I had consultations with Dr. Barbara and son Michael and the member of Parliament, Elisha, and they did actually make certain requests to the government which I relayed back and I'm happy to report that all that the Magoa asked for at that point in time by way of logistical support from the government, the government of the Republic of Kenya indeed acceded to and went ahead to execute with precision. <clears throat> Two, I convey my personal condolences to the family. We have lost a great scholar. We have lost a renowned medic. We have lost an astute professional. This is not just a loss to the people of game, but to the entire country and by extension, the global medical fraternity. Because Professor Magoa has achieved almost all that a human being can achieve in life, I would say that what we need to do today is to join the family in celebrating his life. May I now, ladies and gentlemen, with permission from the congregation, take the distinguished honor and privilege to read the message of condolences from Dr. William Samoy Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya. And I proceed. Message of condolence by His Excellency William Samoy Ruto, President and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces of the Republic of Kenya, to the family of the late Professor George Omore Magoha. To Dr. Barbara Magoha, your son Dr. Michael Magoha, the extended Magoha family, and to the entire community of Umira Village and Nyamninia, to the wider Nyanza family, and to the people of Kenya who are touched at a personal level by the reason we are here today. 
I received the sad news of the sudden passing on of Professor George Albert Omore Magoha on 24th January 2023 with total surprise and disbelief. I wanted to believe that it was fake news in the post-truth times that we live in today. I tried to wish it away as a bad dream, but it was neither fake news nor a passing bad dream. We are all, therefore, slowly coming to terms with the harsh reality. The quail hand of death has plucked from our midst one of our finest. We have lost an amazing person whom we have variously known as a colleague, a friend, a relative, a role model, and a mentor. Accordingly, we join the Magoa family here today for the final send-off. We have come here to bid farewell to a fallen national hero. Our departed friend has been the kingpin of this family and an icon for the rest of us. It is most difficult season for the family and friends, ladies and gentlemen. And I join myself with the Magoa family in your mourning. Poleni Sana. I have had the privilege to know Professor Magawa from very close. Among other things, I served with him in the last cabinet. He was also the Vice Chancellor of the University of Nairobi when I was the Minister for Higher Education. And our paths have also met in many other edifying places and ways. In all these, he leaves me with fond memories. I've known Professor Magoa as a most fascinating patriot who loved his country and enjoyed serving it. Professor Magoa loved doing his work. He had no half measures. He put his whole heart and his whole being into everything that he did. And he believed in whatever he did. If he did not believe in it, he did not even begin doing it, ladies and gentlemen. The Patriot occupied large space everywhere he went. Those who got to know him well will remember him as the one man who believed in the possibility of a perfect universe. But Professor Magoha did not just believe that a perfect universe was possible. He spent his entire life and energy working towards the realization of this perfect universe. He will be remembered as a spirited go-getter. This focused gentleman did his utmost to rally teams around beliefs and causes. He set out to lead them to achieve the goals, and in the process, Professor Magoha turned out to be an astute administrator and institutional leader. He was an outstanding surgeon and a professional role model. As a scholar, he researched and published widely. He was faithful to the academic credo of his times, publish or perish. As a visionary scholar and leader, his towering dreams have been immortalized in his numerous research papers and in the iconic varsity towers at the University of Nairobi, which he believed was the only university in Kenya. He dedicated 12 duty as cabinet secretary, so he set out to keep our children in school. He roamed in the villages in the countryside looking for dropout children and returning them to the classroom. He visited individual homes in the slums and informal settlements to find out why children were not in school. He was at his happiest whenever he tracked down one child and returned them to school. Professor Magoa loved order, industry, and results. Once his eyes were fixed on the final prize, nothing could sway or disencourage him. He was especially impatient with laziness and irresponsibility. He could not entertain mediocrity. He would speak plainly when taking to task the lazy and the irresponsible. He especially had no time for unavoidable slowness of mind. He did not hesitate to call out the culprits in plain language. I will always remember Professor Magoha as a thought leader, an energetic worker, a frank man who did not know how to mean his words. I will recall him as a compassionate colleague who stood with those around him in difficult times and as a conciliator who believed in dialogue as the best intervention in cases of conflict. 
I will remember his focus, great sense of humor, and his attention to sense of vacation too. Such is the kind of person we have come to pay our last respects to, fellow Kenyans. A man who grew to be bigger than the family space could hold, nor could this village hold. Nyanza could not hold him, the game could not hold him, and indeed Kenya could not hold him, and Kenya didn't. Magoa was a citizen of Africa and the entire world. He now belongs to the ages and rests with the sages. We who believe in resurrection and eternity know that he has moved on to everlasting consciousness. We therefore thank God for his life and for the promise of the life to come in the foreseeable future. We thank God for giving to us Professor Magoha and for the privilege of having been a part of this universe in this life. We certainly look forward to meeting him again in resurrection. Meanwhile, Dr. Barbara and the entire Magawa family, I say once again, Poleni Sana. May God wipe away your tears and sorrow. May he cause your, you to smile and laugh again. And may Professor George Albert Omore Magoha, soul, find perfect rest and peace in eternity. Amen. Dated this 11th day of February, the year 2023, William Samoy Ruto, President and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces of the Republic of Kenya. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you.